All right. Shoot. So what's that the reason? Pretty much more from, you know, just me and my family. Um, you know, I actually really started going by Dietrich to kind of honor my brother. Uh, when he was in the Army, our name was so long, all he could put on his patch was Dietrich. So um, that was just kind of, you know, one of those things more kind of to honor him, you know, being in service and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, you know, it is it is a hassle. I mean, I have to write it. I didn't want my daughter to have to deal with it her whole life. So, uh, you know, go. But I went by Evan Smith for a really long time. So it's really nothing new to me, pretty much more new to everybody else because nobody knew that beforehand. How long have you done the uh, I think I started doing that my senior year in college. Yeah. And then once I uh, legally had started filling out a lot of stuff, that's kind of where that went. And, you know, I mean, that's my physical name. My mom did it because, uh, you know, Smith is such a common thing, you know, something to kind of, you know, be different. But we, I, she never made me go by it, you know, when I was young. Through to the rumor that Lovey was leaning on you to drop the Dietrich part because he wanted more Smiths on the team. No. <laughs> Is Dietrich your mom's last name? Yeah. So my uh, my uncle is Bob Dietrich. So. How uh, how hungry are you to get back at this thing and uh, race last year's memory? Uh, I don't know. I've been chopping at the bit, man. Um, you know, it's it's fun. It's it's definitely a different feel this year. Um, you know, guys are. You know, guys are showing up, but you can kind of tell everybody's got, you know, we're more accustomed to how things are supposed to be run around here. Um, it's not so much, uh, you know, last year everybody was kind of feeling it out. Um, you know, this year it's get up and go. You know, everybody has a great idea of what we want, what the coaches expect from us. Um, you know, there's really no kind of, uh, you know, meeting the expectations. You know, the bar's already been set. What's yeah. your impression of, uh, of Jameis today? Obviously, he's a guy who comes in with so much confidence and, and flair that the, does he seem not not seem like a rookie to you? I mean, he's doing his part. Um, you know, I think uh, you know everybody knows who the rookies are. You know, we, you know, all the vets, all the guys that have been here. You know, we've been in here putting in the work. Um, you know, and uh, those guys got to come in and fall in. Uh, you know, you'll earn your spot eventually. You know, they'll figure out what they need to do with you. Um, you know, that's more of an upstairs thing, but. Uh, you know, we got plenty of leaders on this team, plenty of leaders in this locker room, and they'll figure it out. Um, you know, he. He's being himself, you can see that, but uh, for the most part, you know, he's not trying to, you know, be like, hey, look at me, anything like that. You know, like I said, we got guys that lead on this team. Uh, we got guys that know how to play football, and uh, he'll learn from that, too. Coach Drew was talking about, you know, he's a guy that instantly draws players to him. He kind of maybe described what just his demeanor and, and what it is about him that makes him kind of that, that way. I don't know, man. He plays football. <laughs> you know, quarterbacks. Uh, you know, I, as a quarterback, you got to have a certain uh, certain type of personality. Um, you know, guys want to see you lead. They want to see. You know, they want to follow the quarterback. Um, but like I said, he'll he'll get he'll get that position in time. Uh, it's not something that we're just going to let him come in and you know here it is. You know, hey, everybody follow this guy. He's he's got to learn how to you know he's he's got to learn how we do things around here. Um, and he's doing that. Like I said, he's. You know, not stepping out of line, it's, you know, you kind of fall into the Bucks way. And, you know, you will rise through the ranks as the year, go, as the year goes on. But, you know, as of right now, just, you know, follow the, you know, follow the older guys. You know, where the guys have been doing this for a while, uh, we know what to do. And, you know, he'll figure it out. But, you know, he's definitely got great habits. You can see that. Uh, you can see he kind of has a pretty good grasp of the offense already. So, you know, we'll, they'll, they'll get it figured out. They'll get it figured out upstairs. But, you know, excited to have the guy in the building. Yeah, I played tackle in college. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, I, it's listen. The, the biggest thing for offensive linemen is just experience. Um, you know, you need to know what you're supposed to do. But the uh, the biggest thing is kind of getting the experience down. Uh, you need to get out there. You need to get reps. Um, you know, pictures don't move. You know what I mean? You could you could look at plays all day, but uh, until you kind of see how everything's going to end up, you know, in, end up once the ball snapped, it, that's really kind of what it is. Um, you know, we always talk that way. We watch film. You know, these guys will come along. We'll help them along. You know, we, we don't we don't single anybody out. We're definitely trying to make this a better group this year, uh, be more cohesive, you know, make sure everybody's showing up. Uh, we had a pretty good time the other day. We all went out, went over to uh, Shooter's World and blew off a bunch of ammo. So, you know, it's stuff like that. You know, we're trying to, you know, trying to get the group together. Um, you know, obviously the last year wasn't, what we wanted, but uh, you know we're starting to build on that a lot better this year. Some of the adjustments that you have to make from because you played tackle in college from 
facing defensive ends to facing guys on the inside, especially a guy like Gerald McCoy? Honestly, the biggest thing is just getting is just getting the confidence you can block the guys in front of you. Um, you know, it, you know, you'll figure everything else out. But, uh, you know, you have to have the confidence that you can play at the level. Uh, you know, I think I read something that Ali said that, uh, you know, he's at the senior bowl and, you know, you're playing against those guys. I mean, yeah, those those guys are going to be NFL players. But, uh, you know, you, you have to get your confidence up against Gerald McCoy, you know, against the Sues, the, you know, the big time guys. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of them in the league, there's a lot of good football players. That's why we play in the NFL. But, uh, you know, it. it it really comes with your confidence and your ability to, you know, your ability to adapt your skills and uh, play to the level of your competition. Kevin, I, I know that, you know, you or really no player likes to make excuses, and I'm not asking if this is, but did it take you a while last year to get acclimated to this heat? I know Logan came in very late, you know, from where you came from, and, 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 and how difficult may it be for a guy like Ali and, and Donovan also to get acclimated to playing in Tampa? They'll get it figured out. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it, it it's definitely feels different this year for me. Um, I mean, you just, you know, I guess mentally, you know, you know, and that's kind of the one advantage we always have when we play teams here is they really don't know what they're getting themselves into. Like we, listen, we know it's going to be hot. We know it's going to be hard, but these other teams, they come in and it's like, good Lord. <laughs> you, know I mean? you get out there sometimes, you walk in the locker room, you won't stop sweating until you're about, th about a minute before you walk out. It's, you know, so it's, it's tough, um, you know, and, a lot of it is just, I mean, they, they do a good job of keeping us on about being hydrated. That's really about the only thing you can do to face the heat. I mean, it's whatever your genetic or your body type is, uh, you're going to sweat. Um, you know, if you don't sweat, that's kind of a bad thing. Um, you know, it's truth be told that, you know, the quicker you sweat, the better in shape you are. So, um, you, you know, these guys will get it figured out. They'll get accustomed to it. Um, I mean, it's only May, you know, wait till August. You know, that we could really talk about it, but, you know, I feel like I'm getting a little tan going on right now, so I'm feeling all right about it. You know, I think it was, you know, Lovey said it was like 40 degrees up in Green Bay today, so I can't complain. How much comfort uh, is surrounding Derek Cutter that he's here now? You know, obviously, you guys were shorthanded last year with without an OC for, for the whole season. How much just having him here gets you guys back on track? Well, it's just nice to have somebody to, uh, you know, steer the ship in the offense. You know what I mean? I think I made some sort of comment about that last year. You know, we didn't really have, uh, you know, kind of too many cooks in the kitchen, you know, going on. I mean, you got a guy when we sit down in the offensive meeting room, he's going to get up and he's going to make his presentation, but it's, you know, it's his deal. You know, it's not a, you know, it's his deal. He's in, he's in control. He's calling the plays. And uh, I like it. I mean, I really do like his offense, so it's good. Uh, he's had a lot of success with it, but the, uh, you know, the biggest thing is just, you know, having that leader, you know, having someone to, you know, you got an, you know, you got a question, your coach can't answer it, he can answer it. You know what I mean? Um, and that's honestly, for me, that's the biggest thing, you know, is just have a, you know, some, you know, someone that can point the ship in the right direction, you know, so you're not just kind of out there selling, you know, with no real navigation, you know, the guy's got it, you know, the guy's got it pretty uh, wired tight with what he wants to do. Um, you know, a lot of it is just learning his language. You know, we're not really running anything different, but, you know, it's more organized, uh, more in-depth, more detailed, and he's really on top of that, and that's what I really like about the guy. Can, I, can an offensive coordinator scheme help your unit perform better? Yeah. I mean, I think anybody's scheme is really kind of geared towards what your uh, players can do the best. You know, that's the you know a strength of an offensive coordinator is how can, he, how can he fit what he has with his guys, you know, into your system because, you know, I, I mean uh, – you look at every team, not every team is going to, you know, be a big power team. Not every team is going to be his own team. It just all depends on what you've got. You know what I mean? If uh, you want to attack the field vertically, you better have fast guys. You know, if you want to have a short game, you better have a smart quarterback. You know, it just, it just all kind of depends on what you've got. I mean, everybody runs the exact same stuff in the NFL. Um, you watch tape all 32 teams, I guarantee you everybody has the same version of every, you know, the same play in one way, shape, or form. Um, it's just how you execute it and how smart the players on the field are. Because um, that's kind of really what it comes down to on offense is, you know, defense guys, it's line up and go. You know, you do have some sort of responsibility, but as an offense guy, you got to be a really smart football player. Um, there's a lot of, you know, things you can't plan for. So when you, you know, when all of a sudden the ball snapped, you got to be able to think on the fly and uh, things need to happen. But the smarter everybody is and the more everybody's on the same page, the better the offensive unit's going to be. Um, you know, that's why you look at a lot of top 10 teams. A lot of guys played together for a long time.